Let's get this party started, yeah? Let's go, boys. Oh, hi. My nose is massive. It's back, lads. Do you want the best player on the game? I said, do you want the best player on the game? Bin off Ronaldo. Get the money. Get all the monies. So if you guys want the best place to buy your coins on the internet, then go over to u7buy.com. Use code VISA at checkout for a cheeky little discount, guys. And yeah, with that said, enjoy the video. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my official 2020-2021 Premier League predictions for the brand new season. Now, right now, this is currently one week before the first few games. There is still time in the window to make a few more signings. But altogether, I feel like I'm confident with this prediction of what I think will happen. If you guys do enjoy, then make sure to smash a like button. Also, subscribe if you are new. Apparently, 59% of you guys that watch my videos are not even subbed. That makes my heart ache. It makes it ache, man. And also, if you want to, put down below in the comments your own Premier League predictions for the season. And let's see how wrong we are all together in May. I look forward to it, boys. And with that said, let's get into my predictions. Let's go. One to your place for me is my most confident one. I, it's Fulham. It, it, it just is Fulham. They scraped through, actually getting through to the Premier League. They beat Brentford in the final. Brentford was not as good as what he should be. And Fulham, fortunately to them, they are actually in this Premier League season, which fair play to them, yeah? I look at their team and I just, I just think that it is so similar to the one that we saw two years ago. In fact, they struggled to ever keep a clean sheet and they struggled to score goals. They just struggled. They really did. And I just can't see it being different this year. Mitrovic will be a big man for them and maybe he may be an absolute beast. He may score 15 goals a year or he may score five. That's the kind of player he is. It's really touch and go with him, I believe, in the Premier League. I think Fulham has now become the modern day yo-yo club and I'll be very, very surprised if they end up staying up this year. 19th place will be, and you may be surprised here, I'm going to say Crystal Palace. For me, I think they are in serious danger. Serious danger, man. Over the Norwich, they scored the least amount of goals in the Premier League last year with only 31. For example, Burnley, we saw 43. So if we're scoring more goals than you by more than 10, and you know there's an issue there. They've not got a proper striker. I mean, there's Jordan Ayew, who is decent, but I just don't think he's good enough anywhere near to be the main man. Other than him, and maybe I guess Zaha, there's not real goal scorers in there. Eze is a nice signing from QPR, and he may be able to force some sort of creativity. But again, it's his first season in Premier League and he may need some time to, you know, bed in, get some experience. And I look at the team, I look at the defence, it looks like it's ageing, it looks like it's got a few mistakes in there, like a Sacco and, you know, like a 30, what, how old is he? 35-year-old Gary Cahill. I've not got much faith in their defence. So that is my out there shout. Almost like a Watford was last year or Bournemouth that I think that this year could be the one which it may in fact fall flat. Number 18 and I'm going to go with a potential scrap here and it may only just make it you know, above or below. It's a tough one. I'm going to say West Brom. I look at their team and I see some solidity there. I see some good creators. I see Grady Dick Garner, Pereira. I see some great creators. I just don't see a great attacker. Charlie Austin is... Very, very injury prone, but he can be good in his day. I look at the defense, I see a Jai, I see Bartley, who again screams inexperience for me personally. There's a lot of ifs with this team, that's my main issue. There's a lot of ifs thinking, will they be the one? And I just don't know with this team, man. So that's my three teams to go down. Let's go to 17th. For me, it's West Ham. West Ham are in a complete mess right now. If you don't know what's been happening, they're bored in complete disarray. They have completely lost the trust and the faith of the fans. They've got some good name players in there who can be good in their day. Declan Rice, the likes of Ogbonna, Diop, they've got the likes of Fabianski, a great goalkeeper. They've got also, you know, some okay attackers with Yomolenko can be good if put in the right system. Their first seven games of the year is completely disgusting. Over the Newcastle, it's the, it's the big boys. It's a nightmare. I think the first few games, alongside with how absolutely messed up the entire fan base is right now with their board, and also with the poor running games to start off with, which I guarantee I'll be stunned if they're not bottom of the table by November. I think they're going to be in for a scrap, but they have got quality. And that bit of quality which they do have, I think will be the reason for them to scrap out of the relegation battle yet again. 16th place, and I'm going to go with Aston Villa yet again. I'm not a massive fan of your manager. 
I'm really not. If you had a different manager, I may think, you know what, man, it could be okay. Your team is sim similar to last year. He's not signed anywhere near as much as last year. That makes sense, at least. Wesley should be coming back from injury, so it'd be like a proper striker for you guys with Grealish, and you got some okay attackers as well. It's not a bad team around, but I just don't think you guys will be properly exceeding to above, you know, 12th, 13th. But I'll be surprised if you're on like 15th, 14th, 16th around this time that season. And then next up in 15th place, it's Leeds. It is Leeds. It's going to be Leeds. These fans be happy by the fact that you are not in the drop zone. Your team, for me, is not that good. It's, they got some good players here and there, you know, like some Phillips. The only reason why I'm putting Leeds in 15th place is purely based on your manager, Arit Bielsa. I think he's a good coach, and I think he'll make a system that will get the absolute best out of each player in that team and get the strengths out of them. So for that reason alone, 15th, maybe it could be 12th, but right now I'll say 15th. 14th place will be Brighton, and Brighton are like a Burnley for me, in which you always think that, you know, this is a year they are going to go down, but yet they never do. I think Brighton may in fact stay up this year, and quite comfortably too. I like their attackers in Morpai, Trossard. Adam Lallana is a nice piece of business in midfield, and all round, I think they've got a very good defence in the likes of Dunk and also Ben White, and a good goalkeeper. I think they got a very solid team, and I don't think there'll be really any worries of going down this year, really. Now, next up will be 13th place, and this, for me, will be my own club, Burnley. We've not really done much to this window. We have got a bit of an aging squad, I'll be honest, and with what I've seen, we're still solid as anything. Sean Dyche, for me, is an absolute genius and top five best managers in the Premier League. That is honestly what I feel. For what he's done, look at the team we have. We should be nowhere near 10th place last year. Never mind 7th place two years ago and getting to Europe. What he's done is unreal. And we've not lost anyone. Your talk house is still there. Nick Pope is still there. As of right now, if they leave, then I'm maybe a bit more worried. But from what I've seen so far, we're still solid. We still know our values. i will be surprised if we still um, stay in top 10. So I'm going to say 13. Now between 12th and 11th, it's between two teams. And it's between Newcastle United and Sheffield. Field United. I don't know who is going to go between 12th or 11th. I think it's going to be one or the other. For me, let's say Sheffield United, they did fantastic last year. Absolutely fantastic. They are a credit to the league that they don't have a great team on paper, but the way they play in the system, which is what they've put, they've actually achieved, is unbelievable. I really do like them. I just think that they'll be a an, an essence of second season syndrome that some teams that may have not known how they're going to play will now understand how they're playing, you know, figure them out a bit more. I think their lack of quality will be shown a bit, but they'll do well enough to have a stable season and maybe around 10th, 11th, 12th. That's what I expect from really this year. And Newcastle, with apparently a signing of Callum Wilson coming up, I believe if they get Callum Wilson, I think Newcastle could be 11th place. So as of right now, Newcastle 12th and Sheffield United 11th. 10th place in the top 10 now. I'm going to go for Southampton. Southampton, I like the manager. I like their team, some great attacking players. Ward Prowse is a fantastic midfielder. Danny Yings, back in form, I'd love to see it. Defensively, I feel like they could be a bit weak at times, but stable enough, and I think 10th place could maybe challenge a bit for your league a bit. You're near the end. I think that that is probably a safe um, prediction for them. I don't think they'll go down. Ninth place, I do apologise, but it's Leicester City. Some fans will be like, oh, what's you on about? They were so good last year. They were top four the entire time. Yes, and they completely bottled it. The last few months of the year, the last few weeks, was very, very poor from them. Really poor. Same as the Sheffield United, I think they've been caught out to you know, at times. People know what to expect from them. And they have got some great players. You know, Tielemans is still fantastic. Jimmy Vardy. And he could be, you know, peeking into 7th place again and 6th place. And I would not be surprised. I don't know what to expect from this lesser side. And from what I've seen at the end of last year, it, it didn't give me much hope. You guys could be quite well. I don't know. But I, I just don't know if you guys can still stay stable for the entire year again. Eighth place will be, for me, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Reason why is because I feel like seventh place, I believe will be Everton. And the main reason that will be because of Carlo Ancelotti. I think with a full season for Ancelotti to really grab a hold of the proper team, I think that Everton will go above Wolves in this season. I love the Wolves team. I think they're really enjoyable to watch. They're a great, enjoyable team. But speaking more about Everton, they've got some great signings. James Rodriguez on the way. 
Allen confirmed, Decore confirmed almost. Like, it is a very, very, very good midfield. And with Colin Chalotti, I don't think that they will make the same mistakes as PVCs. So with Everton, I've got faith in them. Now it is time for the top six. I still think that the top six will be the top six this year. Over the maybe sixth place. And I'm going to go with Spurs, man. I don't know what to think about Spurs. I, I don't have much faith in the team. I just, I love Jose Mourinho. And I've been watching the recent documentary with um, or oh, nothing Spurs. I, I don't have much faith in the defence. I really don't. Doherty is a good right back, but again, ask any Wolves fan. Defensively, he's not that great. Attacking wise is great, but defensively, he's not a good right back. I just, if I compare them to the other teams that I've seen in the top six and thinking where would I rank them, I think Spurs is the one team which is took steps backwards when each other team is taking steps forwards. And that's the way I see it. Now, here we go. Fifth place or fourth place? My top three, I think you should probably all know who it is, is confirmed. It's just between Manchester United or Arsenal. And I don't know, because it all depends on the managers. I prefer Arteta to Solskjaer. I think Arteta is a better manager. But I think that Solskjaer has a better team than what Arsenal has. The midfield, for me, is so much better with United. You know, they've got the likes of Van de Beek, Paul Pogba, Matic can do a good job as, as a CDM at times. And also, I guess Bruno Fernandes can drop deep if he has to. Compared to Arsenal, which is, as of right now, the likes of Torreira, of Xhaka, and I don't know if I really rate that that much compared to United. And you may think I'm stupid, but I personally don't believe that Sancho is going to Man United. And I kind of prefer if United improve their team in different areas, such as their defence. Saying that Arsenal and Arteta has already got one trophy. I'm going to say that Arsenal will be fifth place. And then Manchester United and fourth. I think Arteta at United will be a lot better than Solskjaer there. That's my opinion on that. And also, don't forget the fact that Man United had a fantastic end to the season. Fantastic end to the season. So, yeah, I think United may have the one here. Third place for me is going to be Manchester City. I just, I, I feel like they're going to go gun haul for the Champions League this year. It's going to come to a stage where they have to focus on the Premier League or the Champions League. And one of them, they will have to put more focus on at one stage with their team. They've got a fantastic team. But I feel like Pep Guardiola needs a Champions League. And I think City will be in for the title the entire year. And they would, they would prefer to win both. But I just don't trust Pep anymore. I think that he will have his complete focus. And will disregard the team selections for the Premier League. To completely go all out for Champions League football. And try and, get, and, try and win it. And I think that will end up being an issue for them. So for me, City will be third place. I think they've got that odd hiccup which I think they just have inside them now. So for me, it's going to be Man City third. I'm surprised that they have done so well. Absolutely destroyed the window. It's Chelsea. Their attack, man, is now dirty, man. It's the upgrade of Mason Mount and Tammy Abraham and Pulisic has now gone from Ziyech and Havertz and then Timo Werner. That is an unbelievable upgrade. Like, it's disgusting. And with Chelsea last year... I remember this. They did so well in possession, but yet could never finish off the game. I remember seeing a compilation of Tammy Abraham where she just missed so many like you know easy chances at that level, which she should put away, and he couldn't cut off the game, and that dropped them many points. I think Timo Werner will be the top goal scorer in the league because he has a lot of players that will feed him the ball. Ziyech, Havertz is unreal, but they've also already got Kovacic, and Pulisic is now a decent player for me, honestly. They've got a lot of good players. The reason why I don't think Chelsea will win the title is their defence. Yes, Thiago Silva is a fantastic centre-back. He really is. He, just, he literally was just in a Champions League final. He was a great, he's a great centre-back. It's just the consistency of putting all that together in one team. I think that may be an issue for them, and I think they may drop a few points here and then. And with the win in the league, it's consistency. And the main team who has won the league so much, which is Liverpool, they have been the most consistent side in Europe 
for the last two years in a row. The only game which I can think of that they've lost, which is like a shock, is Watford. You know, Liverpool lost to Atletico Madrid, which isn't a massive surprise because they are a great team. You know, and they have lost to teams like Arsenal, which is, you know, a great side. The team is still what it is now. They probably will get Thiago in, and which will improve their midfield even more and probably take out Arnaldum. I think that they're going to be just as dangerous as it was last year. They've not made, they've not made many signings, but they don't really need to. I think they've still got a young enough squad of some great young players. I think they've got a great team still, and I think Liverpool will win the Premier League. Chelsea second, City third, and Manchester United fourth. And there you go, boys. That is my prediction for the 2020-2021 Premier League season. Let me know down in the comments if you agree with any of these. If am I wrong? I'm sure you. Will th I'm sure some people think I'm wrong, but that's the entire fun of this. Let me know your predictions down below in the comments. I look forward to reading them, boys. And I'm trying to upgrade the channel, so I do appreciate that. Thank you for watching. My name is Vizar. See you next time. <laughs>